Well, guys, Sky News have shown themselves to be the impartial beacon of truth. I am only joking, of course. They ain't done anything of the sort. We don't live in a fantasy land. Like all media outlets and the Prime Minister, they have all jumped in headfirst, supporting Biden to the point it's hard to tell where he ends and they begin. Adam Bolton is especially guilty of that, thanks to an interview he did with a Republican over in America. In fact, his anger towards her is rather concerning to me. What would he do in private should a woman say something he does not like, I wonder. But as you will see in this clip coming up, he gets beyond salty when she points out a few things he does not like in regards to the investigations going on over in America that might prevent his dear leader president-elect title actually being true. Since, as you know, they have run around calling Biden it for the past few days and are now desperate for it to be true. If Biden is not, and it turns out Trump is still the president, the salt in the Dead Sea won't compare to the salt we will get from deranged lefties in the media and online. You can literally tell as much by Adam's disgusting behavior here, so let's take a look. I will say this, there are recounts, there are audits, and there are lawsuits, and due process needs to play out here yep. in the United States, so a real clear winner is had. Right. Democrats and Republicans alike should have a president that everyone supports and believes right. is fairly elected. As of right now, there are massive allegations of voter fraud, and you need to... They're not, there are not massive allegations of voter fraud. There are claims of massive allegations. There are not massive allegations. There are a few individual cases, uh, but there are not massive allegations, and again, Again, it is wrong to tell the world that that is the case. And uh, what is more, you know perfectly well that when the states do certify the results, which they're probably going to do in the next couple of weeks, that's game over. You can't overturn certified state results, can you? No one is arguing who the winner should be. The American people deserve. You are. You are. You've just said. Off. You've just said, Joe Biden. You've just told me. You've just told me told Joe you Biden is not the winner. So you are arguing it. Don't say you're not He's arguing not it. Winner. You are. He is, darling. I told you that he is not the president-elect of the United States, which he is not. He has not been certified by each state secretary of state, and the electoral college has not met yet. So, if you want to be a proper Brit and be technical, those right. are the technicalities. You know, everyone. Okay, uh, uh, he is he is recognized. He is recognized as the president-elect uh, by Republican I mean, president, yeah. former Republican I mean. president, no, and by former Republican president George W. Bush. Uh, uh, by, uh, admittedly, Democratic President Bill Clinton, by four U.S. Uh, Republican senators, and by Democratic senators. Look, it's not a question. I know technically he hasn't been sworn in yet and the Electoral College hasn't met. We all know that. But we also know that any previous candidate other than Donald Trump would have admitted that he'd lost and conceded by now. So I guess what you're telling the viewer is that the mainstream media and big tech like Google, Facebook, and Twitter control the narrative and tell us what to think. I tell everyone at home, please watch the show Black Mirror because you're watching it right now. The media is gaslighting you. Think for yourselves and just let the democratic right. process play out. No one is saying that Joe Biden and, isn't and, going to ultimately... And what, and what, what, your, what... Now, obviously, nothing she says through any of that is wrong. There are massive allegations of voter frauds and irregularities in America. The Attorney General has authorized an investigation into it, which Adam knows all too well. But naturally, that does not suit the narrative he is trying to spin here. The aggression towards this woman is astounding if you ask me. Imagine being on TV and showing that level of aggression towards a guest and thinking it is okay. If that was a Trump supporting TV host doing that to a Democrat in regards to the Russia story that they all cooked up, it would be all over the news calling him a sexist misogynistic pig and all of that bollocks. Adam being a lefty makes it perfectly fine as he is talking to a Republican. This is is what happens when you tell the truth on Sky News in 2020, I guess, though. I do love how she remains perfectly calm, even calling him darling, because she can tell he is about to burst blood vessels with the anger he has towards her and this story in general. But if you listen to it, the best answer he has for why he is right is that previous presidents recognise him as president-elect, which last I checked was about as good as the media recognising him as that. Until it's done and dusted, all legal votes are counted and the formalities take place, Joe Biden ain't shit. Adam Bolton can obviously scream and shout about it all he wants, he is paid to do that, but imagine using Bill Clinton and George Bush as credible sources to back up the claims you are making. This deluded little fuck pig Adam Bolton needs to take a break and calm down a bit. He is, like the media in general and government at this point, a national embarrassment, so they obviously won't stop. They will just double and triple down despite knowing things like voter fraud and local government 
corruption are common occurrences. We have had plenty of them in the UK remember that they all reported on at the time, and funnily enough that was left-leaning parties who did it over here, like the claims in America. But obviously we gotta be quiet about that, cause people like Sky News don't want you to know that voting fraud is rife anywhere it's a thing. But before I go, and completely unrelated to the topic of this video, any gamers out there watching me who play on PC, Xbox One, PS4, or the new generation consoles that has not seen my community post yet, I will be running private matches on the Warzone Battle Royale game if you fancy joining me. Up to 150 can join each match so you have a chance at killing me virtually or teaming up with me against others if you want to. It should be a good laugh and will be recorded or possibly streamed to my gaming channel for the shit and giggle of it. All are obviously welcome and the community post has more details on how to join or you can actually join my Discord server, link below, and get help from me in there directly if you need it. The game itself is free and can be downloaded from any of the respective stores on your console or PC platform which the Call of Duty franchise actually comes under the Blizzard launcher for PC but I expect most PC players will know that. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies Mr. Verhofstadt against their empires, <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>